In order to analyze and visualize your data, Observable needs to be able to access it. There are several ways to do this. Upload as an attachment, access via an API, query from a database, or retrieve from a cloud document such as Google Sheets. Let's first look at what data even looks like. You're probably familiar with the tabular representation of data sets, such as this one of Olympic athletes. But the actual data isn't encoded as a table, it's a list of objects, one for each line. To see the list, expand the Olympians array by clicking on the triangle next to the word array. Then click on one of the triangles next to the word object to see an individual data object which represents one athlete. They all have the same properties so that we can fit them into a table. The name property gets put into the name column, the nationality property into the nationality column, and so on. Why should you care about how data is represented? Because that determines how it is processed, for example, when using functions such as map and filter. These functions process the items in the list using accessors that extract individual items from each object that they operate on. Perhaps the easiest way to access data is to import it from an existing notebook. This might be one of our curated datasets or data prepared within your organization. Importing a dataset works just like importing any other cell. Copy the import statement using the menu in the left toolbar of the cell that you're looking to import and paste it into your notebook like this. Here I'm importing a list of laser strikes on aircraft in the US in 2020 from an FAA database. You can attach files to notebooks by clicking on the paper clip in the toolbar on the right, which opens the files pane. Then either click on the plus sign or drag and drop files straight onto the pane to upload files for use. Attached files can be easily accessed by using the insert into notebook function to create a new cell with a code snippet like this. This file contains the same laser strikes table as before, but this time as an Excel XLSX file. Other common formats include CSV, JSON, as well as images in formats like JPEG and PNG. For Pro and Enterprise workspaces, Observable supports access to cloud files hosted on Google Drive or Microsoft 365. To connect, open up the Files pane by clicking the paperclip icon, then click on Cloud Files. You'll be directed to authenticate and grant access to Observable. Once you've authenticated, you'll see all your cloud files available to import directly into a notebook, just like you would with file attachments. Connecting to databases is also available for Enterprise and Pro teams. But anyone can work with databases, for example, by uploading one or creating a new one right in Observable from existing files such as CSV, Parquet, Arrow, XLS, Text, and so on, using an in-browser database like DuckDB. Once a database is connected, you can query, clean, and analyze the data in Observable SQL Cell. Create a SQL Cell by choosing Database Query from the Add Cell menu. Select the connected database that you want to work with, then write your SQL code. Your query's output will show as an interactive table like this. Observable's data table cell provides an easy way to put your data in table form and perform no code data wrangling and exploration. From the Add Cell menu, search for or scroll to Data Table. Then choose the data source you want to explore. An interactive view of the table will appear with summary information for each variable and options for filtering, selecting columns, sorting, and slicing rows below. While the data table cell covers common data wrangling needs, you might eventually need to do more customized querying and analysis, for example, joins, grouping, renaming, cleaning, and so on. You can switch over to SQL code using the Convert to SQL mode button, which will convert your current query to SQL so you can keep adding and editing from there. Observable also supports fetching data from APIs directly in notebooks, making it simple to work with live data. Here's an example of retrieving subway ridership from the New York City subway system. In the next video, we'll look at how to visualize data with Observable Plot.